Well, howdy diddly dandy there, chums. It is I, Captain Stephen Exo. And today, chums, I'm going to be doing something rather special. I'm going to be going after a living ship, and this is in permadeath mode. Yet I don't have all that much quicksilvia. Heck no, I don't. I only have 300 quicksilvia, and I'm fairly sure, I'm fairly sure that this void egg is going to cost me a heck of a lot more than 300 quicksilvia. So I'm going to go and speak to Johnny5 and see how much one of these quicksilvia eggs costs me. So here we go, let's have a quick look-see. Down we go, and there's the void egg. Hello there, my voidy friend. What the heck? 3,200 quicksilvia? That's crazy, nurse. Captain Steve, although the void egg seems quite expensive in quicksilver, perhaps it gives something that is worthwhile and worth having. I really do hope so, XO, my little chum. Right, okay, so I now have the 3,000 Quicksilvia, and it took me about two hours to get. So uh, now that that is got, I'll put a card in the top right-hand corner on how I got that so fast. Right, so I've now got my Void Egg, but how the heck do you get this thing to activate a Mondo? Right, okay, XO, any ideas, my little chum? Captain Steve, I feel to activate the egg, you may have to jump into another area of space from the galactic map and then engage your pulse engines. Right, okay, well that sounds reasonable. Okay, well let's get on with that endeavour. Let's fly on out and take a look and see. So, yep, and we're going to exit the Nexias through this little doorway here. I've always wondered, what happens if there's a fire in the Nexus? It's not like there's a multiple escape route, is it? All the ships trying to escape at once? That's surely a health and safety risk. Okay, well, I'm going to shoot some roids. Take this, roids. Get out of the way. Freaking Astro roids. Right, okay. So, jump map. Okay, brilliant. And to any area of space, Exo says. So here we go. Let's just lock onto somewhere. Let's just go there. Pow! Yeah, Degenpol. Let's go to Degenpol. We have arrived a catered. Arrived a catered Mondo and Degenpol system. Sweet. Nice one. Right, so engage pulse drive. Here we go. Pow! And we're off. Look at me go, lickety split. Freaking heck yes, like hyper frost. Oh, we've got an incoming transmission on it. Hello there. Oh, what the fudge is this? Well, this looks like something I've never seen before. Hello there. We hear you travellers. Okay, fair enough. It's got freaking ears somewhere on that thing. Yeah. And I'm hearing the same music as the egg is making. Well, this this is interesting. Okay, brilliant. Well, that seems to resonate. Well, I'm going to continue listening. Sweet. Okay, what have you got for me, my little shipping man? Is it a ship? It's freaking. It's, it's got. It's got engines, and it's away. It's definitely a ship. Sweet. Okay, we've been given interstellar coordinates. Lovely and jubbly. Well, let's have a quick look. See what I, do I have to? I need an emerald engine. At this point, Captain Steve had to harvest an emerald for his emerald drive. I've just clipped a section. Okay, right, well, we're back with you. I've now got my Emerald Drive, and I can go to the Emerald System. Yes, the Emerald Isle of Space. Righto, I have arrived. There's engaging pirate ships. Holy fudge and moony. Oh, trust my bloody luck. This is mental. What the fudge? Captain Steve encountered a battle at this point in time. I have cut the footage out. Righto, now the egg wants me to find some sort of powerful anomaly with strange colliers. So let's scan these planets and see if we can find a planet that actually fits the description that the void egg is after. That one kind of does, doesn't it? Actually, no, that didn't freaking scan. Right, okay, um, let's get a bit closer. Let's get through these freaking asteroids. There's so many asteroids in space. I mean, where do they all come from? That's freaking weird. Oh, there we go. That, that, I didn't even scan this one, and uh, apparently... That, that matches it perfectly. Toxic? Anomaly? Yeah, we're on our way. Oh, fudging heck, there's a fugitive on the loose in this system. Pirates, fugitives, I've had it all, people. This is this is getting a bit crazy, eh? Right, okay, well, it's going to take me a little while to get down to this actual planet. I don't suppose you have any jokes, do you, Mr. Exo, that you could share with us to bide the time? Captain Steve, I feel I may be able to help you with a joke. That's what I asked for. Why are robots shy? I don't know. They have hardware and software, but no underwear. Oh, you joker! That's freaking awesome. I like that one. I'm going to commit that one to memory. Thank you very much, Exo. Right, okay, so now we have to tune into these coordinates. Okay, well, this this is a little bit tricky. So I have to match those coordinates on my screen there to the coordinates that are being given by the void egg. So yeah, this could be quite good fun, couldn't it? Okay, um, yeah. Hmm. So, oh! Oh, well, look at that. There's a freaking comms ball. What a stroke of freaking luck. Exactly where I need to go. It would seem 
other travellers have already journeyed down this path and left comfortable for Captain Steve, making the task a lot easier to log on to and hope into. Oh, this is brilliant. Well, if there aren't comms balls when you're doing this, if you're following the actual living ship Missione and there's no comms balls, maybe leave one because this has really helped no end. Thanking you, comms ball leaver. So let's uh, head on down to the comms ball and let's see what messy we get from the comms balls. Tretter? What the fudge? Okay, fair enough. And that's from DMO STR. Well, thank you, DMO. Awesome. Thank you for leaving this comms ball. You sound freaking awesome, or madam. Right, let's head on over to here and let's interact with, um, or, or, or binary, or uh, you know, non-gender, gender fluid, all that. Yeah, thanking you. Right, well, let's interact with this. Lovely jubbly. Let's hit it up. Who is mentioning Gek and Viking removed? Synthesis unit operation. Okay. Brilliant. Biogenesis? Okay. Insert materials, one consciousness bridge. Well, I, I don't got a consciousness bridge, so I have no idea how to make a consciousness. Okay, I think I'm good. I think we're gonna fail at the first freaking hurdle. Oh, what's this? Blueprint given. Heck yes, consciousness bridge is at hand. Hexite, oh fudge. We've just fallen over at the first, first freaking hurdle again. Hexite, never heard of the stuff. Don't know where to get it. Okay, mission over. Um, This isn't, a, can I interact with it again? Are you gonna tell me how to get this freaking hexite? No, you're not. Oh, there's a marker that's just appeared. It's a little egg marker. Brilliant. Okay, well, I guess we're going to be going there. I guess we are, chums. There's, that must be where the hexite is. Yeah, it wasn't given to me by this little plaque, so we're, we're going to head there, I guess. Awesome. There it is over there. Let's um, let's see if I can... Can I highlight that? I don't know whether I, I probably could, but we're going to just drive there. We're going to... Well, drive. We're going to fly. We're going to fly. Come fly with me. Come fly. Come fly away. Frado! So yeah, let's uh, lock onto that target. Let's just do up my launch fuel thrusters because yeah, you don't want to be caught in the open, especially if a storm hits. Heck no, you don't. Right, well, I'm so glad that they left those comms balls. Otherwise, it could be quite difficult to lock onto those coordinates. However, Exo, have you got something for the viewer that might be able to help with that? If you are having problems locating planetary coordinates, I have put a guide in the top corner of the screen now. Well, thanking you, Exo. I thought you'd have something. Right, well, let's uh, touch on down. At this marker, I'm hoping that this marker gives us Hexite, because out of all those things, that's the thing. I have no idea on how to actually generate or create or craft. Right, so I have no blueprint for Hexite. Come on, be Hexite in there. It does say in the mission brief that I do need 250 Hexite. Well, hopefully it's got plentiful Hexite with inside of this crash machine. I mean, chance be had it. Let's have a look see and we've got quite a lot of code coming up bio cryptid okay well we're getting quite a lot of mentions of biogenesis so this is interesting so this ship i think could be half living matter and half machine matter hexite sounds like a bug doesn't it like hexadecimal code this is a little bit odd and it also needs pogium so pogium i get from killing sentinels which, um, yeah, there's no sentinels upon this planet. So I'm heading up to the station to pick up some, um, well, what are they called? Navigational detiars. And hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to pick up uh, something from here, like a map to actually bring in sentinels to me. Because, yeah, it's a little bit odd that there's no aggressive sentinels in this system. I checked every planet. In the system Captain Steve was in, there were no aggressive sentinels. And trying to find sentinels to aggravate was near on impossible. Most systems will have sentinels though, so you may not have to do this step. So yeah, the navigational data you can get from these glowing cubes and sometimes little flat disks. Sometimes they're even on the vendor's counters, so check there as well. Um, but yeah, over this side, oh, well, on the side where the multiple tool cabinet is, there's usually more than you find over this side. However, since I've put the junk vendor on there, it seems that the count of navigational data in the station has dropped. So it's just pure luck if you find navigational data up here. If you don't find navigational data up here, you can find them at trading posts sometimes in the uh, reddish sort of canister. You are going to need an Atlas Pass Level 1 to open the dang things. Right, well, I've bought my maps and I've locked onto a manufacturing facility using one of those maps. So now I'm going to fly down to the manufacturing facility. I'm going to shoot the doors and hopefully upset some sentinels. And after I've upset the sentinels, yeah, I can kill said sentinels, which is yeah, pretty, pretty cool. And yeah. Uh, it's the way it's the only way I could freaking do it. I've been looking for sentinels for ages. Normally they get in your way, don't they? When you want sentinels, you can't find them. It, it's just the way. Just the freaking way. Captain Steve, 
Guys, do you a joke for you? How do you make a robot angry? I don't know. You press all of its buttons. Oh, freaking excellent! I could have. I, I, I think I could have guessed that one actually, but no. You outfoxed me, Exo. You outfoxed me. Oh, you jester! Right, let's blow in the freaking doors. Right, so that's made a couple of sentinels angry. But really, what I need to do is get inside so I can shoot them from the from the lip of the door, and then that way they don't usually fire back. But since I'm in here, I may as well disable this. I don't like that beeping noise. That beeping noise is freaking annoying. I'm gonna go for gas. Excellent, that turned the dang thing off. Thank fudge for that. That was a lucky freaking guess. Awesome. I do have luck with me. Right, where are you, you sentinel scandrial? You little scutter. Oh, there's one. Take that. In your green eye. Oh, it's gone red. Fudge. Okay, he doesn't like me anymore. Right, I'm not on his Christmas card list. He's turned into a beer can. Lovely and jubbly. He's dead. That's some pogonium. Right, okay. Well, hopefully I could get Exo to speed this up. Okay, awesome. Excellent, and we have now created the Consciousness Bridge. Heck yes. So that is that step one done? I mean, are there multiple steps? I mean, why am I building this dang thing? Okay, well, what, what are you doing on my freaking ship? Get off. Yeah, you could scratch the freaking paintwork. You get. Yeah, and it's not like I can retouch this up because we don't have ship customization yet. What a little scutter. Who jumps on people's ships like that? Frickin' vandal. Right, okay, let's um let's let's see what we need to do next. Okay, so uh, I have no idea what I need to do next. Uh, let's just jump systems. Let's jump systems and let's see if the same step happens again. Let's let's go there. Look, there's a little egg marker. Okay, brilliant. We're gonna go where the egg marker is. Let's go! Chicka pow chicka boom boom! And we have arrived at Kata Mondoed. Oh, it's another one of these plaques. Okay, excellent. Oh no, this is the same plaque that we came to, isn't it? Oh, I see. So I've got to bring back the biogenesis part that I have just made and feed it back into this plaque. Okay, so organic material in and hopefully some sort of new technology out is what I'm thinking. Let's head on over then. Awesome. So now I can re-interact with this plaque that I couldn't before. It does have a very sort of knowledge stone-esque ring to the top of it, doesn't it? It's really quite cool. Right, here we go. Let's insert the consciousness bridge. Chicka pow pow, chicka boom boom. What are you going to give me, my little plaquey friend? Okay. A birth cluster of cells? The ancient Corvax? Right, okay. So maybe the Corvax were the guys that tinkered around with this technology in the very first instance. Right, okay, fair enough. Mental, well, make a mental note of that. The fragile neuro stem. Lovely, okay. 23 freaking hours! That's a whole day in Earth time. Right, well, through the power of editing, we have now reconvened. And here we are. The mature neural stem is complete amondoed. So, yeah, I've got to await contact yet again. Right, so I guess it's a case of flying up into space and engaging my pulse drives as we did last time. And hopefully, hopefully that will bring in the alien ship. Let's see if that theory is correct. We have taken off and we have taken to the sky. Let's go up into the blue. Into the blue turns whatever color the nebula is. Okay, well, it, is that blue still? Oh, fudge. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Okay, well, let's, um, let's uh, hopefully, hopefully we're going to get the ship pop in any time now. Because, yeah, these asteroids, although that I was angry at that traveller for nearly scratching my paintwork, I'm fairly sure these asteroids are doing a better job. Okay, here we are. We have one of these ships that are flying in again. I'm really hoping our living ship looks something like that. That is really cool, isn't it? Okay, right. Okay, the Metal Masters bind us no more. Metal Masters? What the fudge is that all about? Captain Steve, the metal masters that the living ship speaks of, I think they are referring to the Corvax. We have had the Corvax mentioned a couple of times now during this law. Right, yeah, that makes total sense. Right, so brilliant. The Metal Masters are the Corvax. Thanking you, XEO. Right, oh, so here we go. The music has faded. Lovely. And let's, um, okay, interstellar coordinates. We've got to open up the galactic map and jump to another system. Hopefully it's going to be marked with the little glowy egg-type mission marker. It is! And we're going there. Let's lock on, let's instigate, and let's arrive at Katamondo in the system. Awesome. Shandy X system. Oh, I love the name of this system. A Shandy. I could do with a Shandy right now. I really could. Journey milestone also complete a mondoed. Heck yes, who's the king of finding these ships? Me. Excellent. Okay, right. So what does it want now? A dust-covered world of extreme storms. Sounds lovely. I'd rather not. Um, but, you know, we want this living ship. So let's scan these planets and see what we get. Well, that's Cactus. And it's desolate. Doesn't mention anything about storms. And I don't see the word activated there at all. Well, let's scan this little moon. 
Here we go. Let's um, let's have a look at that one. Let's see what that comes back with. Okay, that's got oh, that's got ancient bones. Gamma root. Oh, it's not dust covered. Right. Okay. Uh, let's go to this one. So the cactus flesh one, the first one that I scanned, is the most promising so far, but no storms. All right. So we've got a marshy planet. Nice. Okay. I do like the marsh worlds, but that's not what we're after. There's one hiding behind this big sort of ringed planet. Can I scan it? It's not freaking letting me. I might have to pulse over a bit. Let's just go over here. And let's see if we can get a better angle on this lovely Marbial. And let's hope that this is the one that we need. Are you the one that I want? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, activated idiom. And it's cactus flesh. That's better. That's the one we want. Heck yes, it is. And let's fly on down. Now, because this has already been discovered by somebody there, I'm wondering whether that discovered Perseon has been nice enough to leave me a comms bullio. Because if they have, it means that I have to do less work. And I like that. I like the fact that I have to do less. Right, well, we have come down to the actual planet. Let's see if it's the right one. Let's see if it gives us the coordinates in the bottom right-hand corner like it did in the first step. Heck yes, we've got it. Bingo was his name Oh, Right. So let's lock onto these coordinates and pop. A comms ball did appear. It didn't appear until I got relatively close. I had to dial this one in pretty much myself. But here we go. I am, I've arrived, Kate. It's a freaking warm planet, though. Holy fudge. I think it's going to zap my energy before I can even get to the freaking plaque. This is mental. Okay, and it would help if I went to the right side. Look at that. Look at my... Oh my god, I'm going to have to get back into my ship. I'm going to have to wait for that to go back up. Okay, let's go to the right side of the plaque this time and interact with it as quick as we can because I'm burning to freaking death. Okay, let's uh, just hammer through this text. Okay, it's mentioned Corvax Prime. The Corvax are definitely the metal masters. Right, let's just hammer this through and hopefully, hopefully get it before I burn to death and become like a crispy critter. Come on! All right, I'm, I'm, I'm still burning. This is freaking intense. Come on, stop chatting gibberish. I, I would like to read this, but the fact that the planet is eating me alive right now. Oh, great. I need a pulsating core. What the fudge is a pulsating cure? Uh, I'm core. Give me the blueprints. Let me go. I need to get back into my ship. Actually, I think the storm is over. What's this? A solar ray, you say? Right, okay. Uh, well, it's like I'm being burnt by a solar ray right now. I need liquid freaking sun. Right, I have no idea where to get Liquid Sun. I'm hoping this new hardware blueprint that they've just given is going to help. But to make that, I'm going to need Cobalt. I think I saw that flash up in the bottom right corner there. Let's get in this cave. One is going to help me with some of my protection. I can also stick in one of these batteries to do that as well. Let's dig a little deeper to stop myself from burning for a second while I just gather my thoughts. Right, so I need to build this solar ray into my multi-tool. Okay. Fine. Well, to do that, I think I'm going to need some cobalt. So let me grab some cobalt from these stalactites or stalagmites. I think the tides hang from the ceiling where mites come up from the floor. I could be wrong. But yeah, there we go. Let's um, zap these. I always think tights, you know, they look like they dangle down, don't they? So that's the way I remember it. Anyway, if I've remembered it incorrectly, I do apologise. Like, uh, mondo. Right, so let's gather this. Lovely. Unjubbly. I think I've got enough. I think I've got enough. Let's have a look. See if I can put it in. Right, so we want... Oh, I haven't even put in my advanced mining beam yet. Okay, well, let's put in the solar ray. Chikapow! And clickety-click. And I need some of that. There's some of that back in my ship. Well, I'm back at my ship, so now I can install it there. Chikapow! Cobite done. Magnetized ferrite done. And we've now got a solar ray. You know what? I am not going to be digging up on this planet where I'm going to get burnt to a crisp. I'm going to go to the marshy planet. Heck yes, that sounds more fun. Well, less burn to a crispy type status anyway. Because that should have quite a few deposits on there. Theseum that I can use the liquid uh, the sun ray on, hopefully, to make this liquid sun. Is what I'm thinking. So let's head to that planet. That sounds a little bit... That sounds better, doesn't it? That sounds, that sounds better than being burnt alive on a... Freaking hot world. There we go. And you can see these nice red patches against the blue grass with ease. So that really helped as well. Whereas on that other planet, I would have had a hard job spotting one. Right. So, oh, I love... The, oh, look at that. that oh, that colloidal type effect. I'm loving the beam. The beam looks awesome. Okay, right. Liquid sun. We're digging up liquid sun. There's no liquid sun type song is there. Here comes the sun. Do -do -do -dum -dum. Here comes the sun. Pow! Gather that. That's pretty cool. Righto. So I'm just going to squirrel this away into my backpack until I have 
250. I have the 250. I've got all the other resources. And I believe I can now craft a Kate this thing. And I have. Chkapow! Done, dilly, done. If you haven't got gold, just shoot some asteroids. That's how I got my gold. Lovely and jubbly. Done. And we're about good. I think that's everything we need. And the Mordite, just shoot creatures. Just kill creatures. And uh, oh, oh, some plants on this marshy world actually gave uh, Mordite. So you don't have to kill things. Or well, you can grow the, the actual plant if you really want to. If you don't want to kill stuff. But there we go. Done. Um, I think that's pretty much done, isn't it? Is that done? Oh, no. I've got to go back to that plaque, haven't I? You've got to feel, feel, you've got to put the bio stuff in to get the mechanical stuff out. So I've got to go back to that freaking really hot planet. Oh, fudge. I don't like that hot planet. Hold on. That doesn't look like the hot planet I came from. Right. Anyway, well, let's just fly down and let's see. Is it the hot planet I came from? I'm not 100% sure. Planet Egbritia X. Well, phew freaking no it's not it's not the hot planet that i came on okay brilliant well let's just touch down uh, i don't know what's going on oh it is it is the hot planet here we go here comes all the when i saw the green for a second i was like oh no it's not the same planet i thought it was very red i think it was very red because i was flashing very red okay well let's jump on out of the ship and let's get over to this plaque as quick as we can before we burn to death here awesome Interact Mondo with the plaque. Lovely. And let's feed in the biogenesis part and see what we get in Return of Mondo. I'm going to insert that into there. Chicka pow pow. Chicka boom boom. And what do we get in its place? Okay. Come on. Yeah. Anytime now. Chicka boom. We've got a fragile heart. Awesome. Thermal protection is active. Thank you, Exo. Lovely. Jubbly. Um, yeah. I don't, th I don't think it's doing me much good though, Exo. That bar is just hammering down. I need to get some better hazard protection on. Heck yes, I do. That's not good. That's 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 pretty damn freaking painful, to be fair. Righto. So that's done. And yeah, I think this is probably going to be another 24-hour jobby, isn't it? It's grey at the moment. It needs to go green, and for it to get to green, it's got to go through some sort of state, I believe. Um, but the mission's not coming up. I've got the mission selected. Nothing's coming up in the bottom right corner. Let's get out of the ship. Let's see if it... That, there we go. 24 freaking hours. Yet again. Okay. Awesome. Righto. I have taken the liberty to speed this footage up. Well, thank you, Exo, and here we are. We've arrived at Kated. It's been the 24 hours, and uh, yeah, we've got the next part. There it is. We've got the mature heart. The heart is done. We're still on this freaking obliterating world that's really damn hot, which is lovely for a tan, but I don't want one. Okay, so here we go. Where's where's the mission gone? Where's the blood? There it is. Let's select the mission. Await contact. Okay, so await contact. Basically, fly up into the stars and engage your pulse drive. Now, before I was jumping from system to another system before I'd done that. I'm going to just try it straight in the same system that I'm already freaking in. Let's give that a go and let's see what happens here. Right? So, oh, yeah. Brilliant. We've got our communique. Oh, no, we haven't. What the fudge is this? It's a giant space jellyfish. Hello, giant space jellyfish. The talks? No way. Oh, it just says the one word. Sad. It's almost like telepathic arc. This is awesome. Just pure emotion. It's sad. How do I cheer this thing up? Okay, well, we could try headbutting it first. We could fly into it or we could shoot it. Maybe shooting it. Well, I tried a few things and uh, I couldn't make it any happier. So we're just going to press on with the mission. Let's just try pulsing again and see if we get a get some sort of communique this time. We've got communique. Yes, and it's not a giant jellyfish this time. Heck yes. We've got ourselves a living D-ship. Nice one. Brilliant. What have you got for me this time, my little singing chum? I do like your singing audible type inter actions heck yes i do it'd be nice if we could actually hear the music hear the melody that this thing gives off yeah but uh, i guess in its space nobody can hear you scream so how we hear this melody i think it must be telepathic eh? which yeah i can't put through the audible speakers right so let's um jump on over here hold on this is more than one jump do i have enough warp fuel it's not that one it's, it's that one over there i've got to go all the way that way Oh, it's in warp range. Heck yes! Okay, brilliant. We're going to engage. Engage your mondo. Chicka pow pow! Chicka pum pum! We've arrived located in this lovely sort of nebula that looks like it's made out of tomato soup. It's already been discovered by Smokey. Smokey Akhol! Well, ha ha! Well, let's have a look for round to see if we've got a planet that might already have a comms ball on. Oh no, they don't actually pop in until I get close, which is a bit of a shite. Okay, well, um, what planet does it want this time? Lush! Okay, brilliant! 
awesome. We're looking for a lush planet. Okay, uh, hopefully, hopefully it's going to be a planet that all is already discovered. That one isn't discovered, is it? No. Um, I'm hovering over it. Nothing's popping up. I can give it a scan, I guess, can't I? Yeah, let's scan it. Let's just make sure, anyway. That's Gamma. It's not that one. Oh, look, there you go. Starball. Already been discovered by somebody other than the person that discovered the system. What the fudge is going on? I honestly think the discovery server has gone a bit squiffy. But let's um, head on down to the actual planet. Let's see if we get the coordinates in the bottom right-hand corner. And let's see if this is the correct planet K for the rest of the Missione. And it is! And how far away am I? I'm quite a distance. Holy fudge, am I a distance? I'm a distance and a half. I'm in the northern hemisphere. It's in the south. But look at this! The comms ball's popped already. Oh, this is freaking magical. Heck yes. Oh, man. This is so cool. I've been really lucky with this, Exo, haven't I? It would seem other travellers have already journeyed down this path and left comms balls for Captain Steve, making the task a lot easier to log on to and home into. Yeah, I have been super duper lucky. And like I said before, if, you, if, if you're doing this and there's no comms balls, perhaps put them down because they've been a freaking send. They really have. Atlas sent. Heck yes. Right, okay. So there we go. That's who put that comms ball down. Thank you, my chum. And it, again, wasn't the person who discovered the system. It wasn't the person who discovered the actual planet. So, you know, lovely. I love the fact that these little comms balls are sort of like a little hint that we're not alone. You know, it's, it's awesome. Very cool. I'm loving the yellow sort of skies in contrast to the red grass. Frickin' ace. Okay, right. Well, let's um, go through all the text and let's see what we've got to here. Impossible membrane. Well, oh, great. It's got impossible in the frickin' name. Right. Okay, what do I need now? A hypnotic eye. Great. I've got to go into the sea to get one of those. Nice. And living water. What the fudge? Living water? How the... What? That... Ah... Uh, Okay, well that's that scuppered me. I have no idea where I'm going to get living water from. You know what? Let's just focus on the thing that I do know. Let's go and get the the eyeball because living water is not something that I've come across before, and it's not telling me in the bottom corner there on how to actually get um, living water. It is, I think, pointing me to somewhere. There we go. We've got a marker over there. Maybe that's going to give me the living water, or maybe it's going to give me the eyeball. Who knows? Let's take one off. Uh, great. Launch fuel thruster. Let's uh, let's fill that up. I really need to upgrade my launch thrusters. need to get those up to S so they regenerate themselves. That'd be freaking ace. Right, let's go on over here. Okay, so it's a little bit of a distance. Okay, uh, let's, uh, let's just get to the actual La Cession. Brilliant, eh? We have arrived at Cated. Thank you for speeding that footage up, Exo. Much appreciated. Right, so here we go. We've got this one-eyed little critter on the roof here. Get get close, but not too close, because he's going to hold you in that beam if you get too close. There's his eye. It does vanish. It perishes rather quickly. Make sure you pick this up super-duper freaking quickly. Heck yes. Well, I've got that eye, and now I've got to go get living water. Where the heck do I get that? Okay, right, okay, well I see you up in space, because that's the only thing I can... Th oh, hold on, it says here, seek living water in deep space. Righto, well I see you up in deep space, people, bear with me. Heck yes, I'm now in deep space, and I'm going to pulse, I guess, and hopefully find whatever this is to get this living water. Okay, seek living s water on a space station. Okay, well, where's the space station? There's a space station there. Let's log on to there. Let's, let's go over to the space station then. This is this is a bit odd. It said go to deep space. Well, what if the space station isn't in deep space? right -o. Well, here we go. I've jumped to a new system because uh, nothing popped up. And here we go. Chikapow! It is in deep space. There's another Jalafash. Hello there, Jalafash. Oh, it's talking to me yet again. Lovely. Acceptance. Hope. Willing. Okay. Brilliant. Um, do you know where to get living water, my friend? I'm saying that with my mouth and through the powers of psychic ability. Uh, not that I know that I've got it. Brilliant. Okay. Um, it's given me living water. Fudging heck. And the white quantity. Oh, that is just sheer freaking chance, isn't it, Exo? What have you got to say about that, my friend? Captain Steve, you've just used a living eye and living water towards building your living ship. This is starting to feel like... A Frankenstein-type project. You've got a point. You've got a point, but I'm going to press on because they look freaking awesome. You know, they're not covered in stitches and haven't got bolts in their head, have they? So, yeah, it might be a Frankenstein-looking ship, but this ship looks more like it's Ikea-made. It looks like an Ikea lampshade, and I quite like that. Hold on. What the heck's going on here? I've just picked up another mission. It looks like I've got some sort of underwater mission to do there, Exo. What the fudge is going on? Captain Steve, there seems to be a mission. 
mission log interference. The missions keep swapping. You need to select the starbound mission yet again. Oh, brilliant. Okay. Excellent. So we have had this happen before where missions seem to swap around. So that, that's quite handy. Fudge and heck. Look at the lightning. That is so cool. I love the lightning. Wow. I could just watch storms all day. Why is it that every single one of these plaques has been on some sort of extreme storm planet when I haven't got any decent hazard protection? Note to those that are watching, maybe upgrade your hazard protection because I am getting baked like a crisp or fried like freaking, I don't know, something that gets fried like a shrimp on the barbie. No, they get burned. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, freaking not good. Let's get inside. Because look at my bar. I nearly died yet again. This is mental. Okay, and that's just talking to a plaque. Who would have known that that would have been so freaking dangerous okay i've got a feeling this is going to take another 24 hour years so hopefully you know exo and being exo can speed up this footage and uh yeah yeah exo do your thing sir i have taken the liberty to speed this footage up sweet okay nice one well he hasn't done it just yet because yeah i was still trying to work out exactly how much time he's got to speed it up by but yeah i'm guessing it's going to be another 24 hours or so so i'll see you then Awesome. So now, yeah, sped sped up footage, and we have, I believe, is it complete? Where the fudge is it? Is that it? The hardened shell. Is that is that what I'm looking at? So we've now got three pieces of the jigsaw all slotted together. Yep, yeah, we've got the hardened shell. Awesome. So yeah, what do you want now, living egg? Um, it's now. Oh, oh, the mission. The freaking mission. Okay, let's select the mission yet again. I have to do this every time. It's a pain in the neck. So, yeah, if you're not getting your mission pop up, make sure you've got the mission selected. And it can jump to different missions. If you're on, like, the Artemis storyline or other lines, it may jump. Oh, look at the storms. They're freaking ace. Right, well, let's take on off on this planet. But I could sit there and watch that for a that, that That could be a screensaver. And I'd be happy with that. That's so cool. Right, well, let's uh, take on off. Hold on, am I flying the right way, or am I going back down to the freaking planet? I can't tell which way's up. The storm is too intense. I think I'm flying back to the planet. Yes, I want to go this way. Go! And take off. Chikapow! Excellent. Right, so I think I need to engage my pulse drive, actually. I could have just left that going, couldn't I? Yeah, let's, let's, let's repulse. Repulse! Chikapow! And let's see if we get a communique. Come in. Righto. Yes! Well, oh, brilliant. We've got some communication coming in. Awesome. Ah, oh, this is very rinse and repeat, isn't it? Hopefully I don't have to go and fly to a load of other coordinates. That, that, that could be a little bit fun, couldn't it? Okay, let's see what it gives me this time. Awesome. I, I've got a feeling it is going to be the same thing again. Right, each time this being floods my ship with a beautiful song. Brilliant. Lovely. Yeah. Okay. Uh, brilliant. Just give me the navigational data. I I've kind of got an idea of what, what, what the drill is now. Okay. So yeah, back to the galactic map. Make sure you select the ride mission. As you can see, there's another mission floating about in space. Chicka boom! I'm on my way. Here we go. Tally ho. And away we go. Hi ho. Anvil away. And we should arrive okay, in the next system. Actually, this is not an anvil ship. It has no droid in the wing. It's got the side rails instead. Righto. I've arrived. Brilliant. The Lapras Lazar Galactic Community. Brilliant. That's a freaking mouthful. I wonder whether that's an actual save name or a, a name that somebody conjured up. It seems like something that someone's renamed it to, though. Right, okay, so what do you want this time, Egg? Fungal Groves? Bizarre! Okay, um... A bizarre fungal world. Well, let's start scanning. What are you? Well, this one's a fungal planet, Emerald. Have I hit it first time? Heck yes, I have. Says aggressive sentinels, though. Not good. Right, well, let's head on down. I could have done with this planet earlier, couldn't I? You know, the whole aggressive sentinel thing. Like I said, when you want them, you can't frickin' find them. And then, when you don't want them, they're everywhere. Fudge and heck. Great. Awesome. Well, let's head on in, and let's uh, let's see what we get. Okay. Oh, this is this is actually quite a beautiful world. This is quite cool. I'm loving all the hills, all the mountain yarns. Right, well, okay, so I've got to dial into that code there. I'm not seeing any comms balls pop up this time, though, chums. So I think I'm left alone to do this on my own devices. And yeah, it can be a little bit tricky. You've got to get the longitude and latitudes to match. And at the moment, I'm a little way off. As you can see there, minus 25 to the whatever it is over at the other side there. I mean, these numbers are quite small for me to read as well, which doesn't really help. Right, so let's head on down to this terminus. 
and we have arrived at the actual there was a comms ball i had to get a bit closer so they don't always pop up when you're miles away sometimes you have to get a bit closer and then the comms balls pop up which helped me a lot but yeah you may have to do this manually so yeah there's my actual portal code in the bottom left hand corner maybe if you was in this area of space maybe you would get comms balls that help guide you on this mission just as a thing but i am in perma and i am on ps5 so whether they appear on all iterations or cross gen i don't know Right, so let's interact with the boundary failure. Again, it mentions Corvax Prime. I believe the Corvax homeworld, home world, Corvax Prime, was obliterated. I think the whole planet got wiped out, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, it's maybe this technology was what the Corvax used back then. Who knows? But anyway, let's synthesize this and bring this living ship into iteration. Okay, so it needs the biogenesis material. It's odd that this one isn't a plaque. I'm wondering whether it's going to give me something different to do. But yeah, here's the crux. The ancient experiment. What's the crux? I can feel life forms. I carry the egg and the heart, the skin, the nerves. Oh, I need to get the soul? What the fudge? I'm fed a blueprint, okay, okay, with a multi-tool. Animus beam? Fragmented qualia, you say? From killing living beings? It rips their soul from within and turns it into data? Okay, this sounds like stuff of nightmares, but we're going to make it. We're going to install it, and we're going to use it on some creatures. Okay, th th this this does not sound good. This sounds a bit ominous, in fact. Okay, well, I need to make some of that uh, sodium, so let's get that on the bake. And uh, let's see how far we can get, maybe, to installing this animus beam. You know what? I think I'd cut, and I'll be right back with you when I've got the materials. Here we are. Okay, so let's install that. Animus beam installed. All right. And now I need to shoot some creatures. That's exactly what I... I wasn't sure whether I was reading that correctly, Jumps. But it looks like we've got to murder Cade creatures. Well, at least these creatures don't really look like creatures. They're just orbs of light. So I'm kind of okay with that. Take this, you, you little scutter. Yeah, you're going to become my living ship. Heck yes, you little baubles of light. Right, well, I had to kill quite a few of those little baubles of light. And let's head on back to... Okay, great. The sentinels are searching for me. Fudge and heck. Right, well, let's see if we can get rid of the sentinel heat and interact with this plaque. Otherwise, if I interact with this plaque beforehand, I'm going to get shot in the frickin' face, aren't I? You know what? I could just get into my ship. And I could sort of run and hide from them and then come back. Let's do that. Let's see if we can get rid of the heat. There we go. Oh, it's gone already. I didn't even need to take off, did I? Anyhow, let's um, let's just see how we're getting on with this. So we've got that there. Brilliant. Oh, I need to I need to create the actual bio part. Anyhow, there we go. Chikapow! Done! What is that called? The Seed of Glass? Is that what I just read? Okay, let's um, let's head on back to the Starbirth area. Ooh, I think that might be... That might be... Yeah, it's not a plaque this time, is it? So, maybe I have to go back. Seed of Glass. It is a Seed of Glass. And, you know, the Realm of Glass is often mentioned. I wonder if the Realm of Glass and also the Void are one and the same place. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Considering we've got a Void Egg from the Void and now we've got a Seed of Glass that we have to actually make this ship from. And that's a little bit worrying because we're often told that the enemies inside, well, enemies or threat inside of the uh, Void are made of glass or got nubs of glass. But anyway, let's feed this in and let's see what we get out. Hopefully it doesn't mention glass anymore. Glowing Singularity fragile breath the breath of the ship so this is the lungs the lungs for the ship fudging hell okay all right um well whoever put this beacon here there you go joel popham thanking you joel popham i hope i pronounced your name right there there you go double thumbs up for you thanks for the comms ball right so i'm now up in the actual stazione and it's been 24 hours so hopefully this is now done we've got four pieces of our living ship hopefully there's no more is that the final piece I don't know. Let's get... Oh, I've got to select the freaking mission again. Right, so we've got to await contact. Okay, well, let's fly out into space and let's see if engaging our pulse drives will trigger an interaction with the living ship. And we can hopefully, hopefully, get our living ship this episode, chums. I say episode, this is a freaking movie. I've stitched all this together. If you want to see it in individual pieces, I do have a playlist. I'll put the playlist in the top right-hand corner for you guys, if I remember, at some stage during this video. And yeah, you can uh, jump on over there and watch it in parts if you prefer because it hasn't changed from day dot i thought the missions had changed but they haven't okay well here we go but we divulge i uh, uh, diverge sorry okay 
Oh, right. More of a sacrifice? I just killed freaking creatures for you. Now what have I got to do? I've got to do more sacrificing. That better not be the case. The voice of the alien. Okay, fine. Oh, it's getting weaker. Hopefully all this hard work wouldn't have been in vain. I need to press on. I need to get this thing finished in case it becomes, rather than a living ship, a dead ship. You know what I mean? Okay. Oh, this is different. It's given me a code. What the fudge is this all about? Okay, um, that's a little bit different. Exo, any ideas, my friend? Captain Steve, this appears to be a portal code. The hunter, for example, is the eagle. Where the lowly insect is the beetle. And the star over water, the sunset. I believe you need to find yourself a portal. Righto. Okay, well, to find a portal, first I need to find a monolith. And I need to put something into the monolith, like a trinket of the race in the system. Now, this is a GEC system. So what I think I need to do is find some more navigational data up in this station. So it's again running around looking for those little glowing cubes. Oh great, we've got loads of these desks. They're usually littered with the dang things. And yes, there's a blue one straight away. Now sometimes it says navigational data when you go to pick it up, when you hover over it. But sometimes it gives you nanites, which is a bit weird. Right, so I've grabbed a load of those little blue cubes. There's a couple there. There's a flat disc as well. Lovely. And we can exchange these ones. But this time we want to get ourselves some alien alien maps and thank you for speeding up that footage xo much appreciated so that's the purple ones at the bottom here now i think i got five no i didn't i got four great okay brilliant hopefully one of those four will show us a monolith but before i go to a monolith i need to find a trading post and the trading post is where i can get the trinkets for this race so i think with gek it's like gek nip and maybe a gek relic or something along those lines it's like a little silver gek statue but you need the economy scanner and you just launch the scan from space. And here we go. Chikapow. Economy scanner. We've found a trading post. So we're going to head to that trading post. Right. So where are you, trading man? Trade, trade. Uh, oh, it's all the way around here. And it's behind the freaking station, isn't it? Great. Okay. Awesome. There it is. Let's lock on. Let's go to the trading post. I see you guys down at the trading post. Salute to Mondo. And we engage pulse drives. Can we go any faster than this? Chikapow. And we have arrived, located at the trading post. Now let's touch on down and we've got to wait for traders to fly on in. Hopefully it's not another extreme storm planet because, you know, my luck so far with landing on planets have all been freaking extreme. I've either been baked or shot at. It's not been fun. OK, well, let's uh, jump on out and let's uh, see what we get. Oh, look at those lovely puffy clouds. Actually, this planet seems to be OK. Yeah, I can deal with this. Yeah, gamma dust, whatever. Yeah, I've been made of hardened stuff on some of the planets I've been on. Heck, yes, I have. Meteorites and all sorts of shite been thrown at me. Oh, look at that. That's a cool ship as well. It's an anvil. It's an anvil chum. So it's, yeah, it's, it's got a barrel nose. It's got a droid in the wing. I'm liking that ship. We'll have a better look at the ship in the moment, but let's buy our trinkets first. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the old trinkets. Okay, brilliant. So yeah, that's what you need to buy. The Gek Nip and the Gek Relic. I was right, Gek Relic. Okay, so let's buy those. Lovely and jubbly. And uh, yeah, done dilly done. And yeah, this ship, let's have a better look at it. Exo. There is going to be Heck yes, and we're doing the Anvil meetup on the 21st of March. So March being the third month, that's three, two, one, Anvil. Awesome. Right, okay, so I've scanned, and you can see here I got a signal detected. I've sped up the, well, Exo sped up the footage until I found a monolith, and it was the third. Now, I only had four maps, so that was a stroke of freaking luck. If you don't get them, you're going to have to get more navigational data. You can find the navigational data in some of the upright red barrels, even on this trading post. So don't worry too much. Just run around, and you hopefully will get enough navigational data to get a map. Righto. So let's fly on over to the monolith. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Chicka boom boom and chicka pow pow. You can actually build those red canisters yourself, unlike your freighter, and get uh, navigational data as well. There's also a way to get them to respawn. So I'll put a card, if I remember, on this movie, eh? Up in the top right hand corner. So let's go. Let's head on down to the monolith. And let's uh, interact with that. So yeah, get navigational data. Hopefully I've put a video card up and you can hit that up if you do get stuck. But let's go to get this monolith or hit up. So the monolith sometimes gives you a puzzle. 
Now, it doesn't matter if you fail the puzzle, you can just then re-interact with it again and actually get the portal location. Okay, so it doesn't matter if you fail or pass on the actual um, quest. At least I don't think it does. Right, so let's touch on down and I'm going to hit each of the free knowledge stones as well. I might as well learn some words while I'm here of the different languages of the races. I think this is a Gek system. So hopefully we're going to be learning some Gek words. Let's see what Gek words we learn. Okay, so monolith number. Okay, why, why can't I interact with this freaking thing? Um, work, damn you. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have bothered with the words. It's taking too long. There we go. I got the Gek word for A. Brilliant. That was worth it, wasn't it? Nearly broke my freaking leg. Help as well. Yeah, I would have needed that if I did break my leg. And the word for and. Brilliant. Okay, look at us. Freaking lyrical genius. Okay, let's head on up and interact with this um, monolith. Looks like a giant washing machine, doesn't it? Looks like we're at a laundrette for the Gek. Awesome. Right, well, let's um, press whatever buttons. No, because I can make a robot angry. <laughs> the Exo's joke earlier. Brilliant. Okay, you know what? You know what? You, you, I guess I guess you could you could always tell that joke again if you wanted, Mr. Exo. Go on, go on. You know you want to. Captain Steve, a joke for you. How do you make a robot angry? You press all its buttons. You press all of its buttons. Yeah, it gets better every time. Thank you, Exo. Brilliant. Awesome. So let's um let's uh, locate. Also, we have now located it using that um little um trinket that I got from the trading post. It's now dialed in a portiel. It's over there. Let's see if we're going to highlight that because we've got a few different ones floating about now. There you go. That's made it go blue. Right. Let's um jump in our ship and let's go to that portiel, and we're hitting the portal code. Now it did flash up on the screen earlier this portal code, but I think I'm going to have a hard job translating that. I'm really hoping that Exo can help us out with the translation of that code. Exo, is this is this is this something that that you might be able to help me with, please, my little chum? Captain Steve, I feel I have translated the portal code Brilliant! from the signal given by the void egg. Fantastic! I can input the code for you into the portal. Go for it. Excellent. That, that sounds perfect. Okay, so he's keying in the code now. So there's a double... Well, it's an eagle, a reflection and an eagle. And a black hole and a sunset. A waypoint, as I call it. I think that's called the ascending orb, though. Isn't it? Yeah, that's weird. An eclipse. And we've got another igial. A bitial. We've got ourselves a um, little gem or voxel. We've got ourselves a boat and a whale. The king of the sea. Awesome. Well, that seems to have done the trick. Thanking you, Exo, because I, I was a bit scuppered on a couple of those. I have to admit, some of them were a little bit obscure, you know, like the obscure whatever. Let's go. Let's head on in. Right. Brilliant. Health and safety out of the window. And we have arrived at the other side. OK. First contact. OK. Brilliant. What a cool name as well. Accentia. Awesome. Well, that's, um, what does it say now? OK. So this is different. This is different. I'm liking this. It's actually changed. This, this, this is a bit more variety in the freaking mission. Liking it. Oh, and we've got like an egg location we've got to go to. It does give coordinate kits in the bottom right corner, though. That was odd. Okay, do I fly to the marker or do I go to those target coordinates? Maybe it's both. Maybe it's all, Maybe it's made this super simple for me. It's put down a marker where I need to go. I've been lucky with the comms balls and now I get a mission marker. Freaking excellent. Well, let's go. Let's um, fly on over there. Oh, it's not that far. So only seven seconds away. No need to actually speed up the footy arch. We're just going to touch down. I can sort of see something amongst this haze. God, the fog on this planet is immense. Okay, well, let's uh, fly on over. Let's touch on down. And Oh, it's a building. We're going to be heading into a building? Okay, brilliant. Okay, it's an abandoned building at that. Now, what I would say is these abandoned buildings, they're all covered in sort of like biogenic type shizzle, aren't they? And it's got those eggs outside that you don't want to touch. Heck no. But yeah, all this organic stuff, it's like the void or the realm of glass has touched our reality and it's spawned in all this stuff. Honestly, don't think bringing a living ship into our verse is going to do us any favours in the long run. I mean, when you look at this and you see all this sort of biogenics all over stuff, we're making something like this ourselves. It doesn't feel right. Perhaps, you know, this whole sort of meltdown and abandoned systems was because of the Corvax tinkering around with the void. You know, who knows? Anyway, let's uh, press on on. Okay, so what we got here? A soul chamber, 0% full, a bionic arc. Okay, this is not looking good. I've got to get simulated fragments to put into there of travellers? No way! What the fudge? I've got to put glitched travellers uh, 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 into my uh, living ship? Is that what it's telling me to do? Seriously? 
Okay, well, let's. I, I, I don't know whether that is the. Search for fallen travellers and it's given a marker. So, am I putting travellers' souls into a living ship? This, this feels a bit odd. This does feel. Uh, yeah, this, this sounds strange. Exo, what do you make of this, my friend? Captain Steve, the living ship asking you to sacrifice travellers' souls to burp it into life does not feel right. It doesn't. And uh, yeah, I heard the tone of your voice there. Dropped a couple of octaves. So yeah, this this does not feel right, but we have arrived at the first sort of location. We're in the roundabout for proximity of where we need to be. Where? Oh, there, there's a grave marker over there to the right. Is, is that a grave marker? I believe it is. Let's, let's head that way and let's, let's get a bit closer. Let's just be sure. Okay, and um, yeah, somewhere over this hill, I think we're going to find the grave. Let's uh, touch on down. Uh, have I gone past it? No, there it is. There it is. There. Let's let's go. Let's go and head on down, and let's see if it does bring in a natural traveller. I'd be surprised if we've got to put traveller souls into our living ship, and let's see how much it goes up by once I actually do this, because it said zero percent. Okay, let's home on in and let's interact with this. Can I put down a comms ball for people? No, doesn't appear I can. No edit permissions. So that's why there isn't comms balls already here. But there are some bases here. I can't put down a beacon either. I can't do anything to mark this out for people to help them. Hello there, traveller. Hello, says the traveller. Collect his soul. Oh, Fudge, are you there? Are you... Oh, that was a bit quick. There was no sort of, are you sure? There was none of that. He's freaking gone. Have I just murdered him? It's gone up to 33%. So I think I need to do this another two times. Okay, well here we are at the second one. Let's let's just do this again, I guess. I mean, I've already started. I may as go, may as well go on now. Collect soul. No, no, no. Oh my, I feel bad. Oh dear, that that's just made me feel a little bit queasy. Okay, um, right. Well, let's press on to the third one. The queasiness has passed. <laughs> For fun's sake. Uh, this is this is not good. Well, I've created a save just in case. And we've reached the third destinazione, uh, or is somewhere around here. Now, what I would say is these markers, they keep bouncing about. I mean, the text at the moment has gone super small on my screen for some unknown reason. But yeah, um, for whatever reason, oh, it's probably because I've got this resolute. It's gone like letterbox view. Hopefully that's going to sort out my text now, not so squashed. But you can see there down in the bottom corner, those, those marker coordinates, the plus 37.35 and the minus 15.93, they, they keep bouncing about and changing. So I'd be going one way and then all of a sudden they would change to a different direction. And it's by quite a fair bit as well. So it's like you've got to search a whole freaking area. Now, when I landed my ship, I almost landed my ship on the actual marker itself at that time. I get out of my ship and it changed by quite a few U's to the point that now I'm, I'm heading this way to try and dial it in. And uh, I'm not finding anything. I'm not finding anything over this way. And as you can see, I'm, I'm pretty much on it. Uh, OK, so I'm exactly on that marker and I'm not seeing a grave location. I'm not seeing a grave point. Oh, no, it's, it's freaking behind me. But I, I, you can see that I was on it. But anyhow, let's uh, let's head towards that. I'll just put down a little beacon just to sort of give me a rough indication of which direction to fly in. Okay, let's see if we can put the beacon a bit further. Once we reach my old beacon, we'll put down another one. And hopefully we're going to reach it. it. Yeah, that's nothing like the actual coordinates where I was. That's, that's mental. Okay, well, it's not there. It's even further. Fudging heck. Okay, well, let's just keep going. So a, a word to people searching for these freaking markers. When you get this far, it bloody moves. Okay, so um, yeah, that's that's fun. Okay, well, let's head on down here. Is it down here? It better be down here. I can't see nothing. Oh, there it is. There it is there. Awesome. Okay, excellent. Let's slide down here. Wee, this is quite good fun. Yeah, we need a bit of fun after that. That was... If this was an extreme planet, I would, probably would have died trying to find this damn thing. And this is permadef, so I would have been dead dead. Right, so let's head on over here. Let's interact with this. Chicka boom Lovely. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, why is it not letting me interact with it? Oh, there we go. I just was at the wrong angle. Okay, awesome. Collect soul. Yeah, you're coming with me. Why are you? Where am I going? Oh, that's so tragic. Okay, well, we've now just picked up three Traveller's Souls, and that seems to have done the trick. Three Traveller's Souls seems, seems to be the magic number. Three is the magic number. Oh, yeah, it is. XO, you got anything to say about this? I'm sure you have. Captain Steve, you 
amount of travelers that are now flying around in living ships. If you think the three travelers' souls went into birthing each of those ships, that's a lot of travelers' souls that have been sacrificed. And they did use the word sacrifice, I believe. And uh, yeah, that's um, that is quite a scary thought, Exo. Yeah, thank you for that. Yeah, that that makes it feel like um, this ship was well worth getting. <laughs> And we had to murder those creatures and extract their souls as well. Luckily, they were orbs of light, and I didn't feel too bad about that. But God, yeah, that's that's a lot of souls, isn't it? This this, this is a bit mental. And now it says that the host is dying. It's fading. Okay, his mind is unraveling. I better get to this living ship and get to it quick and birth it into existence. I mean, I've done all this murder murdercating and pillaging of souls. I may as well just press on now. You know, the damage is done. Okay, brilliant. Um, let's go do this. Ah, uh, launch thrust of fuel. Story of my life. Hopefully this new ship doesn't need launch thrust of fuel. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? You can just hop into space. Right, okay. Hopefully it's got some pros to this living ship. Let's head on over and let's go and find my living ship. Okay, I don't want to lock onto the station. I want to log onto this fallen host. Let's go. Let's head on over and see exactly what we get. Wow, I think, I think this long mission is coming to an end. And now this, when you think, it's taken me 24 hours in between each of these steps. This has taken me five days. So hopefully I've managed to condense this video down into something a little bit more skimpier than five days. But yeah, it's going to be a long one. This is a Captain Stephen Exo freaking movie. Hopefully we can bring you more of these in the future. If there's storylines that are war warranted of such a movie. But let's head on down to the Fallen Host and see what we find. Okay, well, this is quite a lovely planet as well. I'm loving all the hills and mountain yarns. The terrain is freaking ace. Oh, it's got spikes everywhere as well. I'm liking this. It's like hell on a planet. Okay, well, let's uh, touch on down over by this fallen host. Oh, and there it is. There's my living ship. Hello there, chum. I guess I could have jumped to another system. I guess I don't have to berth it here. But you know what? I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to press on and get this living ship. Whatever I'm given, I'm given. Let's see what we get in our lucky bag of living ship goodness. Oh, it's beautiful. I love the antennae. Very cool. I like the little skirting ramps as well on the underside. That's pretty cool. Hello there, living ship. How are you? Okay, so I've put in the heart. Okay, brilliant. And this begins to beat. Lovely. Oh, we're putting all the pieces in. This is like building a Frankenstein. This is actually really cool. Okay, awesome. Well, let's plug that into there. The ship is now complete. Awaken the host. Go on, it's done. Chicka bum bum, chicka pow pow. It's alive. That is a Frankenstein type statement. Yes, Exo, you're quite right with your access your Frankenstein analogy earlier. Right, the infected. Oh, I can't even pronounce that last bit. We'll just call him Earl. Hello there, Earl. I like Earl. Earl looks awesome. Yes, I do want to compare my ship. Hold on. I guess I haven't got a free ship slot for Earl. Oh, no. That's not good. I don't want to swap my fighter. Heck, no, I don't. Okay, right. Okay, we're going to leave for a second. I need to swap out to my other ship, which is pretty damn freaking sweet. So let's, um, let's do that, I guess. Okay, brilliant. Uh, I can't summon in my ship. Why can't I summon in my ship? What the heck's going on? Captain Steve, you've been detected by a sentinel. You cannot call in a ship. You're going to have to run and take cover and hide. Okay, right, brilliant advice, Exo, right, come on, oh, great, and now I've got a holographic ship that I've got to run with. No, no, I've got to exit the menu, exit the menu, and then I can run freaking faster. Run like the wind, Captain Steve! Well, we've managed to outfox the freaking Sentinels, heck yes we did. Let's call in a shitey shuttle that we can swap, let's do that, because I've got two shitey shuttles. I don't know how that happened, but it has. Right, so we're calling this one, have I done anything to this shitey shuttle? Let's have a look, see if we've actually installed any tech, because, yeah, if it's done up to the nines, no, it isn't brilliant okay right we can get rid of this little beastie then and we can swap it for the other living beastie lovely awesome let's go do that yeah okay let's head on down it was only an a class which is good i didn't check out the other shuttle i don't care to either mainly because there's this planet is crawling with freaking sentinels and they've got their little beady eyes scanning for me which is not good i will need to get down to this ship and do the trade before i get picked up by another freaking sentinel oh look at that the free suns Oh, this, this ship is beautiful. I'm loving the sort of ripples of colour that go down its nose cone. And the sort of light purple and the yellow just work so well. You know what? I'm happy with my living ship. Yep, awesome. Right, I've got it. I'm out. I'm lovely jubbly. Job done. Mission completed. Heck yes. Double thumbs up to me and to EXO. Thanking you, EXO. And yeah, I think we're about good. Heck yes, we are. 
I think I'm going to be ending off now, people. So thank you very much out there, viewers and viewer world. All of you out there in viewer world, thank you for watching. And I'll see you again soon. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. I want to say a massive great big thank you for watching. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And thank you to my backers over on Patreon and on YouTube membership. If you do want to support this channel, you could just not skip my adverts. That's pro 